This is a sample. I will say, all I got, <laughs> oh, oh, Nelly, all I gotta say is butter my bread. Here we go, here we go. Legs feeling good, We're ready to rock and roll tomorrow. All right, we got a, we got a mail time. I'm gonna try and be expeditious in this process. All right. Oh my my, it's a red box. You know what that is. There's no name on the side of it. That's interesting. Oh, Nelly, what is this? I have been stumped. I don't know what shoe this is. There's no marking on the side of the box. I'm just trying to think what this is from New Balance, I don't know. If I figure it out, I'll put it on the screen. We're gonna save this for last. I think I know what's in here. A letter arrived from, shout out to Nick in Kansas. Thank you, Nick. He just says, Seth, I just wanna say thank you for doing your YouTube series. All oh, you, I appreciate it. I always look forward to 50 mile shoe reviews, especially the Nike Peg 37s. Awesome, Nick. I'll finish reading it all later. And he's got a sticker in here run hard live free podcast oh nice run hard live free i love it i will check that out and guess what all the stickers that are sent to me end up on my door here in the studio right there so i will stick this on there thank you so much nick run hard live free all right we'll put it right there actually for now perfect all right next box and we're looking at i don't know oh nelly hello hello a hat from Fractal from Richard. Oh, thank you, Richard, or, or Richie from Australia. Oh my goodness. Look at those colors. I'm not, oh, that is sweet. Thank you, Richie. I love how it's so breathable in here. That is awesome. Thank you, Richie, for sending the hat all the way from Australia. Next up from Kiki up in Washington. Coffee, Seattle's best coffee. That's what I'm talking about. And there's a stretch out strap in here. I always need help stretching. I was just stretching inside and uh, I have seen these before. Stretch out strap, that is awesome. Oh, so cool. Very cool, Kiki. And she says real quick, 
P.S. Tote is for true love. Hi, Seth. Since I found your YouTube videos, it has brought me inspiration and joy to show me the beauty of nature and the kindness and generosity of people. Uh, you, true love, and your family are gems. Oh, no, Kiki, you're a gem. You're a gem. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching, Kiki. This is amazing. Uh, Kiki, I always need help stretching, so this is awesome. Thank you so much. And look at this, a tote for true, or I don't know if this is called a tote, something for true love, a nice little flower purse. I'll call it a purse. Awesome, Kiki. And oh, maybe the best thing right here, coffee. All right, oh man, I think these are shoes coming in from outside the United States. He's got a note, okay, he says size 13, from, oh, from the UK, from Oxford. That's awesome. Thank you, Richard. Uh, they are UK size 12s and US 13s. You are awesome, Richard. I will find them a good home. It might take a little bit of time, but I will find them a good home eventually. You're the best. Oh, and we're, we're just so you know, we are strategizing for the future with respect to SOS. Like, I, I think we, we have the game plan. It's just a matter of figuring out how to make it happen uh i'll just say electronically all right all right i'll just leave it at that all right let me put these here okay last but not least i know what is in this package um i can't really reveal to you yet because they're not quite finished this is a sample i will say all i got <laughs> oh, oh nelly all i gotta say is butter my bread oh my goodness yes Yes, yes, yes. All right, so this is a white version. Oh, wow. As I mentioned a couple weeks ago, oh, that looks real good. What I mentioned a couple weeks ago is that at 100,000 subscribers, we're gonna launch the Butter My Bread merchandise line, okay? So that is, these are samples for me to analyze, figure out if I like the look, like the design. At the end of the, I've been, so far, I am loving it. I'm not gonna show them to you quite yet though, okay? Bear with me, bear with me. Now let's dive into the focus of the vlog, the predicament as well as the running shoe scoring system. First of all, the predicament. I realize that people subscribe to this YouTube channel for a lot of different reasons. Maybe it's just because of the mountain running vlogs. Maybe it's just because of the marathon training ideas. Maybe it's just because of a Tuesdays with True Love. Maybe it's just because of, yes, the running shoe reviews. I totally get that. Uh, but what I like to do on this channel is integrate life with running so it's not just about uh opening up running shoes for you or doing running gear testing or doing uh just racing vlogs i like to in like today this morning uh you know sipping coffee with the family waking up just just filming life uh on this earth all right that's what i like to do on this channel but uh because i i do understand so many people are very very interested just in the shoe reviews i want to make sure that i'm discerning as best as possible the future of running shoe reviews on the channel. For example, I did not even do, where is it? The Saucony Endorphin Speed. Um, I foresee on this channel that a lot, like the, the volume of shoes that are sent to me to test out is only going to increase in the next six months, 12 months, 24 months. I, I, I know it's gonna increase. Um, so I, I'm trying to um, I'm trying to anticipate that that increase in volume of shoes arriving at the PO box, arriving at my house. Okay, that's point number one. Point number two is that at least five times a day, maybe ten times a day, it depends on the day. I get a request on Twitter or on Instagram mostly, both of those platforms. Seth, when are you going to review this shoe? Or Seth, have you already reviewed this shoe or have you tested it once? And I simply have to say. I haven't because I haven't had a chance because there are so many shoes to test out. So here's the predicament. I'm trying to discern the 50 mile full review mark and I'm trying to discern uh, what the future holds for first impression videos and the full reviews. For example, the Saucony Endorphin Speed. I took this shoe out on a Monday, 22 miles, I th yeah, it was 22 miles and I loved it. I felt I, I knew immediately in the first five miles that this shoe was going to make it to the 50 mile mark for the 50 mile full review. Therefore, I skipped the first impression vlog. I didn't even do one because I was like, you know what, we're going to hit 50 miles in the next three or four days. And sure enough, we did. So my question to all of you, and this is tied into the question of the day as well, is do I keep the 50 mile mark, the 50 mile uh, uh, threshold as the mark for full reviews. Uh, do I drop that threshold down to, let's say 30 miles or 25 miles? 
what would happen if I did that? I'd be able to do more full reviews for all of you, obviously, because I'd, be, I'd have to run in the shoes less in order to get to that 50 mile mark. Um, or do I stick with the 50 mile mark and then simply if a shoe does not make it to 50 miles, I still give it a final score, but of course that score is gonna be lower but I would not do a full review vlog. Instead, it would just be the first impression vlog. And that final score, bear with me, that final score would, yes, end up someday on a website if we were to build a website for all of these old running shoe reviews that are, you know, they're, they're, they continue to pile up every day, you know, every week on this channel. And I guess one other option that I just remembered is dropping the first impression videos altogether and just doing 30 mile or 50 mile full reviews, you know? Um, so I'm, that's the question of the day in a long winded way. What are your thoughts on making sure that I'm testing a lot of shoes for you, keeping the quality level high? And I'll just say, personally, I feel very confident in giving full reviews after 30 miles. So right at that 30 mile mark, I chose the 50 mile mark about 18 months ago. I wasn't, I wasn't receiving nearly as many shoes at the house as I was, uh, as I am now compared to 18 months ago. Um, but at the same time, obviously I'd want you all to feel confidence in me that I understand the shoe well enough at 30 miles, at 20 miles, at 50 miles. You know, some people say, say would might say, Seth, I don't feel confident until you run hundred miles, whatever the case may be, just share your thoughts, share your opinions down below. I would appreciate it. It's gonna help me discern the future. And now on that note of running shoe full reviews, uh, somebody commented a couple weeks ago about they're curious about what is my criteria, what are my criterias for creating the final score for my full reviews, all right? So it's a 10 point system. And then within each uh, criteria or point, I go from one to 10 as far as the score. And then I, uh, at the end, I add it all up and then divide by 10. So here we go. Point number one is the weight of the shoe. Point number two is the lockdown. Point number three is the overall performance of the upper. Point number four is the ride of the midsole. Point number five is the overall performance of the midsole. Okay. Uh, point number six is the outsole. Point number seven is the fit. Oh, that's an important one. Point number eight is the comfort, okay, very important for a lot of people. Uh, point number nine is the durability. And now, now that's that one's always gonna be tough, always gonna be tough. It's a durability prediction. I try to always be clear about that because there's no way I can run a shoe to 500, 600, 700 miles because there's just too many shoes to test. And then last but not least, point number 10 is the price point, all right? So all of those combined creates the uh, final score that you sh that you see. For example, I think, uh, did I already mention this, the Pegasus 37? I think it got like an 8.1 or 8.2, which was a great, great score uh, for any shoe. Now, I think that is it for today. I could go on and on about running shoes, but I'm gonna lean into your wisdom down in the comments. I need help. I wanna, I just need a little insight into what you're hoping for and expecting from me as a running shoe reviewer and tester for all of you. I don't wanna be cutting corners, but at the same time, I wanna bring as much value to as many people as possible that really are interested in learning about running shoes arriving on the market place. Sound good, everyone? I hope that all made sense. I know it was a little long there, but I just wanted to be as clear and transparent as possible about the future of the studio and what I hope is gonna be uh, good good things happening on the channel moving forward, especially, oh, Nelly, especially once we get to 100,000. Oh, I wish I could show you, but I'm gonna wait because I don't know if this is the final design. Stay tuned, stay tuned. All right, everyone, we'll toss it back to, yes, the running shoe matrix right there, right there. Running shoe matrix from a couple months ago. A lot of people loving this one, um, early 2020. You want to learn about running shoes right there right there right there onward and upward seek beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow